Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are on the Copa del Rey, the first one we're playing this season against the Bifair. We just beat Barcelona 2-0 in the league, so a great result. And then we had a couple of weeks off. We are rotating the squad around to give some of the first choice starters a bit of game time. The likes of Neuer, Lovato's coming in, Mariba Cousins and Kangali will come in midfield. Xerxes going to play up top, Mudrick on the left and Diaby's got the captaincy on the right. Actually playing at the Camp Nou for two games running. For some reason, the Copa del Rey matches in PES 2021, they always played at a neutral ground. But you would expect us to get through this one fairly comfortably. It was quite a struggle against Barcelona. We, we very much the better team. Um, but it was 1-0 until the 90, well, 93rd minute we got the second. So it was touch and go for a while. Not that Barcelona really created too many chances. You just never know. Xerxes. Oh, I, th I think Xerxes should have been able to get his head on that. It's a nice ball. So, yeah, we're resting a few of our big hitters. The likes of Martinelli, Bellingham, Pedri especially. Back at. Got such a great squad now, though. Good tackle by Guardiola there. Nice play to Xerxes. Gets tackled though. Should have done better there. Nearly a chance there. And of course, Cousins will be leaving in January. We did get a bid in from, and like I said in previous videos, he's, um, his growth is now flattened out pretty much. So he's not going to really improve anymore. Xerxes, no, three, the keeper, not much power. And if he does, it's going to be a tiny amount. Um, he's, what, 24, 25. He's not old, but we thought. Whilst an offer came in, we managed to get them to give slightly above the uh, market value, which is good. And I think we'll be looking to improve that position with some regens in January or the summer. Here's Cousins, Xerxes, yeah, that's offside. But Cousins has been a great player for us. We've got him on a free, remember? He's been an absolutely bargain signing. You start to see him go, and I wish he would still be on an upward trend. I would have definitely kept him. Now, DRB, what can he do here? Xerxes, find space, but it's straight the keeper. Lots of power on it. Cousins involved a lot so far. Oh, Zerxes so nearly gets the RB in. Good tackle by Fun Lovato. <sighs> Apologies for that. I'm just getting so sick of the referees on this game. Got the ball, came away with it, and then the blow free kick two seconds later. I just don't understand. How these referees are so bad. Go on, Xerxes. Oh, Gotta do better than that. It was a nice ball. You can't put a tackle in. It's absolutely ridiculous. Get the ball. Yes, there's physical contact, but that's because it's a physical sport. He hasn't fallen over or anything. Annoys me so much. And when the computer does it, they don't get given a free kick against them. Time and time again. Oh, that's terrible. That oh, was terrible defending there. Don't even want to watch that. 
Well, so much for this being easy. We've really shot ourselves in the foot there. That was just because I was frustrated, I think. Oh, I actually get a free kick. Right, I need to stop. That's... He was not 10 yards away, but it was my own fault because I took it quickly. Ball. Passing has just not been on it today. God, it'll be fair. Passing it so slowly, but we just can't get the ball off them. Right, good tackle. Ugh. I shouldn't say good tackle until 10 seconds after it's happened, in case the referee decides to blow. Kangali, nice play. How's Xerxes? Xerxes has not been good today. He's been poor. His touch is passing. And he gets in the way there. Xerxes, again. Oh, what a ball. Munch just couldn't quite get in the end of it. Fantastic ball from Trippier, though. One of the star players of the season so far. Poor first half. I mean, this will be a shock. There's lots of time to go, and I'm still sure that we'll get an equaliser at some stage. Unless we're not on another. But uh, that'll be a big turn up for the books. Getting knocked out at this stage. Giobi. Oh, the inside of the post. Couldn't get any closer than that. Now Kang and Lee. Mudrick. Great finish there. That's more like it. Unlucky with hitting the inside of the post there. But Kang and Lee plays it back to Mudrick. Nice touch. Opens up his body and kills her on the keeper. Great finish there. Right, we need more of that. We need to just string some decent passes together. Tiabi, good save. Just couldn't quite place it in the corner. Just couldn't quite get the pass to uh, Zerxy there. Zerkoff's a little bit slow reacting. Zerxy in. That's a horrendous touch. It was a beautiful ball. Zerxy is really not being good today. I'm afraid he's going to have to get taken off soon. Watch your going score. <laughs> Ah, oh, Madrick. Bad pass there. Oh, nice play to Cousins. Oh, 
Sexy, how have you not scored? Great tackle from Guardiola there. And bringing it forward too. That's a terrible pass from him. Not like him, he's normally pretty classy on the ball. Let's make some subs now. So Fabio Vieira coming for Kang and Lee. Kusan's going off for Bellingham. And we're going to bring Castro up top for Zirksi. Yeah, not impressed with Zirksi today. Very poor. Sloppy on the ball. Poor touch. Passing's been terrible. He's not the only one that hasn't played like his normal self. But here's DRB. Got a score there. That's poor. Got two on one. Oh, nice ball. Oh, somehow the defender seemed to almost teleport there. Free kick? Nope, of course not, because it's uh, against me. Nice play to Bellingham. Castro. Now Mudrick. Castro. Uh, how have we not scored again? Yeah, we're now. Mudrick for a second. Ugh. Oh. Just about clear it. I mean, we had a poor first half, but we really should have been leading by now. Um, that's, yeah, poor touch from Diaby there. God, how did the defender, defender did very well to get that ball out. Good tackle from Zirkov. Modric, what are you doing? Only 10 minutes left. Yeah, that was definitely a free kick there. Oh, this is dangerous territory now. Well, all the luck's gone against us there. Again, free kick, there's just nothing you can do. I'm surprised they didn't go in the first time. Nice play. Just a bit wide for DRB. Cardiol doing up here. Castro. Bellingham now. Castro. 2-2. Two, two. We've got three minutes left to get the winner. Getting everyone up the pitch here. Cavardio with the assist. Great finish from Castro. Still going to keep everyone up. Here's Mariba. And Mudrick. Diaby. Oh, good save. Excellent save there. Three minutes of uh, added on time. Now Vieira. Cavardi all again. Castro. 3 2. <laughs> 92nd minute. 
And Cavani are getting two assists. Castro coming off the bench to score two. Look at this, Cavani all playing as a, what, a second striker or something. Amazing stuff there. Wow. Well, it's almost like it, it's taken us to go behind again to really get to grips with this game. And it's not over yet. And there it is. 3-2. Oh, what a game. And as you can see, without doubt, Castro was mad of the match. He came on, made all the difference, got the two goals. How Gavardio didn't get more than a 6.5 for getting two assists in the last, you know, few minutes is amazing. But that was a struggle, wasn't it? Against the Beaver, who, you know, no disrespect to them, but we should beat them easily. And we've gone behind twice and we've come back and we've won it in extra time. Exciting stuff. The main thing is, is that we've got through to the next round and it's an exciting finish to a game. Next match is against Porto away in the Champions League. Now, remember, we drew 1-1 with Chelsea in the last Champions League match, so we really need to get three points in that one. But once again, really appreciate your guys' support. If you can hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.